So, so we are in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Just got done unloading. I was gonna, I didn't charge the GoPro in time. I was gonna show like in the bay back there, but oops. So last video we were in Chilkoff. We went to Lafayette, came all the way back, got another one. We're going back to Lafayette again. And they diverted us over here to Hattiesburg yesterday. So we came over here, got here too late. They wouldn't unload us last night, so we had to wait till this morning. So we went down to a little local truck stop here in Hattiesburg and got some Crystal Burger last night. First time ever had it. Probably First time, time ever having Crystal Burger. Last time ever having. Probably crystal. last time ever happening. Yeah. <laughs> that was a mistake. It's kind of like it's kind of like White Castle, but worse. Yeah, it's worse. Yeah. yeah. Horrible. <laughs> Dude, we got like chili cheese tots and little slider burgers, kind of like White Castle. Yeah, but the and then White Castle ones are better. I woke up about 5:30 this morning with absolute hot ass. Mm -hmm. Crystal burger. <laughs> Wanted to go ahead and drop a little mini nuke in your gut. Yeah, go have some crystal burger. Yeah. <laughs> Still burping up that garbage ass chili this morning and everything. So, yeah, as we were talking about, the truck had been in the shop for two and a half weeks. Still having the same problems again now. And they were supposed to have remedied, but have not. Well, the idle is fine now. But yeah, we got the idle turned off, so at least we can idle the truck. The APU still doesn't work. Yeah, it's being retorted. But now we still got a thing too of you see the little engine lights on down here. That whatever in the gear shift, and we're getting what is it like a, a starter block shift into neutral? Yeah, all the but the last night I was tripping with all the lights going off and everything, and it's all rear, rear, rear. And the idle's all going up and down. The def gauge kept going up and down. It was real weird. I took video of it this time to show shop. to the shop when we managed to go back again. But yeah, it was lame, dude. Yeah. I was just hoping it didn't die again. Because it died while we were in Kansas. Couldn't get it restarted for a long time. It was yeah. stupid. So other than that, we went back to uh, went to Lafayette, went back to Canyon, Texas, picked up a load, and just out of the blue, it was kind of cool. My brother texted me that they live in California, and but he texted me, goes, you know, like, hey, what's going on? Nothing. <laughs> and yeah, you know, we got a little we got a little group photo. We managed to meet up for lunch in Amarillo. Yeah, they just happened to be in Amarillo. They right? had, well, they were in Santa Rosa when he got a hold of me. They were driving their daughter, my niece, driving her back to Kent State in Ohio, where she goes to college. But they got her a new car to take out there. So they were all driving out there in the new little Bronco Sport. Yeah. And, uh, but they were in Santa Rosa getting gas while we were down in Canyon. Our load got delayed a little while. So they just managed to meet up perfectly when we got our load. They were coming into uh, Amarillo and we met up at Rudy's Barbecue. We got some lunch. But it's cool that I, we haven't seen them since Thanksgiving a couple 20, years ago? 2019 before the whole COVID crap kicked in. We had met up in Vegas at my folks' house. We all got together. And after that, you know, COVID started up. And nobody was around each other for a long time. And I was like, I haven't seen my brother in a few years now. So yeah, it's really cool though. It just worked out. Like yeah. the world's a funny place. It, we managed to intersect in Amarillo. Just <laughs> of all places. Of all places. <laughs> so it's cool seeing the bro. Yeah, and 
nice good long lunch. Yep, hung out. He bought us lunch, that was cool. Yeah, that was cool. And then... The only decent meal we've had since we've been out. <laughs> yeah, I know. Been out, what, five days now? Yeah. What's it, Saturday? What's today? Thursday? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, five days, gonna be six days. Uh, I think we'll try and swing back to the house after this one. For a couple days. Yeah. You don't need a reset, but I do. <laughs> well, I've been running ag exempt, so I actually managed to get a reset in yeah. right in the middle of the week. It was funny. So, and now we're heading up Highway 49 here northbound back to Jackson, Mississippi. Hit the 20. All the way back through Dallas, Fort Worth, and then grab the 287. All the way back up Amarillo, shoot over to Canyon, drop this thing off. Uh, we're gonna get back up here on the 20, find a TA Petro, take a shower. Yeah. Need a shower. Need a shower. Need a shower. And then, I mean, yeah, when you go a couple days without a shower, it sucks. And like yeah. when, when it feels like you're using bacon grease as hair gel. <laughs> yeah, I need a, need a shower. You got hot balls. <laughs> a little crotch pot cooking going on over here. <laughs> a little bit of the hot ass. A little bit of swamp ass going on. Monkey butt. <laughs> Fumunda. <laughs> little little Fumunda cheese sprinkled on that nut. I didn't pluralize that because did I mention I only have one nut? <laughs> oh, you. It's the best line ever and ready to rumble. Because when he's talking about his uncle Hank or whatever that was in Nam, he goes, hey man, he got his left nut blown off in Nam, all right? Respect. <laughs> he's all, well, if you only got one nut left, is it still your left nut? <laughs> I always thought that was great. Yeah, pretty good. Classic, classic. What else was I gonna talk about? I don't know. Just a couple things. Yeah, the ghetto ass truck stop with the crystal burger. Maybe we can get back up here. See if we can find some, uh, I wouldn't mind finding some etouffee again. Whenever we get over like Louisiana and stuff. Oh, we went to the one place yesterday, that was good. Oh yeah, yeah, they messed up my sandwich and it ended up being a good mistake. <laughs> yeah, it was just east of Shreveport on the 20. Got out there about 15, 20 minutes. A little truck stop that had a little restaurant in it with uh, Southern cooking. Of course, I got a Philly steak sandwich, but, but you got why. yeah, you got a shrimp. Po I just what I was in the mood for, I guess. Oh. But you got a shrimp po' boy, and it came, they, out, it came out catfish po' boy. But then you ate it, and you're like, actually, that's really goddamn good. Yeah, I, I think it was actually better. We go. We got to go back again and get another yeah. catfish po' boy. That's too bad we didn't go back down to Lafayette. We can go back to uh, Rascals Cajun restaurant right there. Oh on the 10 at the casino. I don't know what was the other place we went to before? Oh, uh, Rice Palace. Yeah, Actually, nice. the etouffee at Rice Palace was really good. Yeah. I was digging it. But the yeah, Rascals would be closer if we go back to Lafayette. So, I guess we'll go back there. So, beautiful <laughs> Mississippi. Good times. Yeah. Anything you guys say? Anything going on? Nothing new to report here. So, <laughs> my bro and Manisha, yeah. his wife. Yeah. Hi, Manisha. Hi. We made you a movie. <laughs> yeah, she says she incessantly watches our videos. But she says, oh, but that was in your movie. We're like, they're videos. Even her, <laughs> even my niece is all, mom, they're vlogs. They're not movies. <laughs> She's all ragging on her. But get it right, God. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. So Tom, Manisha, Deva, what's up? What's up? Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're making a movie about you. <laughs> All right.
So I guess we'll check back later. All right. What do you say? Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and keep it between the ditches, bitches. Out. Out. With turquoise and real diamonds.